We're asked to compute the inverse Laplace transform of five divided by the quantity s to the fourth plus s squared using convolution, which means we'll determine the inverse Laplace transform using the property shown on the right where the inverse Laplace transform of big F of s times big G of s equals the convolution of F of t and G of t, where F of t is the inverse Laplace transform of big F of s, and G of t is the inverse Laplace transform of big G of s. Beginning with the given inverse Laplace transform, let's go ahead and factor out the five, and then factor s to the fourth plus s squared. This gives us five times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the product of s squared and the quantity s squared plus one, and now let's write the fraction as a product of two fractions, where one divided by the product of s squared and the quantity s squared plus one is equal to one divided by s squared times one divided by the quantity s squared plus one. Notice now the inverse Laplace transform is in the form of the inverse Laplace transform of big F of s times big G of s, where big F of s is equal to one divided by s squared, and big G of s is equal to one divided by the quantity s squared plus one. And therefore f of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s squared, which is equal to t, and g of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity s squared plus one, which is sine t. And therefore the given inverse Laplace transform is equal to five times the convolution of t and sine t. And now we apply the definition of the convolution of two functions of t, shown here on the left, which gives us five times the integral from zero to t of tau times sine of the quantity t minus tau d tau. And now we evaluate the def integral using integration by parts. And I'll go ahead and show the integration by parts here on the left in blue, where u is equal to tau, and therefore dv is equal to sine of the quantity t minus tau d tau. We differentiate to find du, du is equal to one d tau or just d tau. We integrate to find v, v is equal to cosine of the quantity t minus tau. From here we apply the integration by parts formula, and below I have the work for the in-depth integral. Applying the integration by parts formula, we have u times v minus integral of v du, which gives us tau times cosine of the quantity t minus tau minus integral of cosine of the quantity t minus tau d tau. And for the last step, we integrate cosine of the quantity t minus tau with respect to tau, which is equal to negative sine of the quantity t minus tau, and then we have plus c, because we're subtracting a negative, the final result is plus sine of the quantity t minus tau plus c. But of course, we have a def integral with the limits of integration are from zero to t, and therefore we take the antiderivative and find big F of t minus big F of zero. And we still have a factor of five on the left. Recall when performing substitution, we substitute t for tau and then zero for tau, not t because we integrated with respect to tau. This gives us five times Again, big F of t minus big F of zero. Notice when we substitute t for tau, we have t times cosine zero, which gives us t, and then minus sine zero, which is zero, and then minus big F of zero. When we substitute zero for tau, we have zero times cosine t, which is zero, and then plus sine t. Distributing five, we have the inverse Laplace transform is five t minus five sine t. I hope you found this helpful.